The last 10 days has seen a huge public debate about the appalling behaviour of a tiny minority of young people in some of our cities. But today it's right to celebrate the success of hundreds of thousands of students collecting their A-level results. This is the true picture of young people in this country, hardworking, diligent and committed to their futures. And it's also important to thank teachers in schools and colleges across the country for their dedication and hard work in preparing their pupils for these very challenging exams. There's no question that an A-level is a huge personal achievement, so it's right to give credit where credit's due. There is welcome news in today's results, with a rising take-up in the numbers taking sciences at A-level, taking the maths A-level and further maths entries. And while take-up in Chinese is up, there is a worrying and continuing fall in the numbers taking French and German A-levels, and there's a flatlining in Spanish entries. Language skills are integral to the social and economic future of this country. The English Baccalaureate at the GCSE level is designed to reverse the falling numbers in mod studying modern languages by giving a clear incentive to students to study a language up to the age of 16. And there are two wider points. Firstly, our job in government is to make sure the education system equips young people with the skills and knowledge they need to fulfil their potential and to compete in the global jobs market. We need to ensure that A-levels are robust and keep pace with businesses and universities' demands and match the qualifications of the best education systems in the world. And that's why we're going to put universities and academic bodies at the heart of developing A-levels in the future. And secondly, it's a scandalous waste that too many bright and talented children still miss out on top universities and the best jobs because they don't have the same opportunities as their wealthier peers. And that's why we've set out comprehensive reforms to drive up standards and close the attainment gap between those from richer and poorer backgrounds. With a real focus on improving behaviour and discipline in schools, with reform to encourage the best graduates into teaching and to raise the status of the teaching profession, and with measures to sweep away the bureaucratic burdens that have been piled onto schools over the years, and to give teachers the professional autonomy they need. But today is a day to say to a quarter of a million young people collecting their A-level results, congratulations. I hope you have the results that you worked for and that you need.